Assalamu alaikum dear viewers of IBN TV. Welcome to a brand new episode of Dessert Delights with me, Sanjida Rashid. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous shows and tried to make the desserts that I've been trying to show you. We'd love to have a little feedback so we know if you're enjoying our show or not. In any way you can. Uh, you have the, the numbers, the email addresses, anything. Okay, so today we're making a dessert that's called uh, whipped, whipped jeweled custard. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using are, there's two tablespoons of custard powder. Make sure you use a good brand. We have five tablespoons of sugar. We have uh, one tablespoon of, um, one teaspoon, sorry, of butter. And uh, those canned mixed fruits, or if you can buy them fresh, anything. I'm going to use a little of that, around a cup. Then I've used uh, jelly. Now what I've done is I've used two colors, as you can see. You can use three, you can add green as well. And my jelly did not set a lot because I didn't have a lot of time. Uh, I suggest you refrigerate them for a while after you make them. I'm sure all of you know how to make jellies. They're very simple. Uh, we have whipped cream. I'm going to be using this for my dessert and for my decoration as well. The amount will also vary. And milk, I have 500 ml and a little of vanilla essence. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to show you the jelly that I used. One of the best that I would suggest you people would use is Rafan. So I've used both Rafan, but there's yellow and there's strawberry. Uh, I'm sure you can get the green one as well, whatever you find available. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is make our custard because it needs to cool down in order for us to add the whipped cream later. So the ingredients that I will be using for my custard are the sugar, the custard powder, the, the butter, the vanilla essence, and the milk. So I'm going to go to my stove and that's where we're going to be making it. So you add your butter. And then your milk. And I'm going to stir it a little before I add in my other ingredients. You need to make sure you keep stirring this because we know if we do not stir custard powder, it can form lumps. So I'm going to add my custard powder. And I'm going to keep stirring because I don't want lumps. I'm sure most of us have our own recipes of custard, so you could use that as well if you do not want to follow this. Okay, so that was our custard powder. And you're just gonna stir it, after which I'm gonna add my sugar, bits by bits, because with the heat, we know the sugar will melt on its own. And this takes a while. Uh, we all know custard takes a while to cook. You need to wait for it to thicken a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so you need to keep stirring your mixture and I would advise not to add the vanilla at this time because your custard would be quite hot 
and when you keep stirring you'll see the consistency would also change it's become quite thick and when you see that it's the consistency that you need you can always switch off your stove and your custard is ready I'm just gonna wait a little more because I want it to be a little more thicker okay and I'm gonna switch off my stove now because I think my custard is ready you don't want it to be too thick I'm gonna add my vanilla Vanilla is added so as like to get the smell and you know the fragrance that the, the vanilla has on its own. So you can add as much as you want but not too much because it can change the taste of your custard. Okay so our custard is ready and so we'll be going on a short break and we'll be back shortly. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. So what I did with my custard was I shifted it into this bowl and uh, I waited it for it to cool down. What you can also do is after it cools down, refrigerate it so it's cool. And uh, after this step, what I'm going to do is mix the rest of the ingredients. Now you have your whipped cream. Now this depends on how much you're going to be using. So I'm going to add and see if I need more. My whipped cream has uh, become very soft because it's been out for too long but make sure you place your whipped cream in the fridge before you do this step so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be folding and not mixing your mixture so you fold it this is not a very hard dessert it's very simple all you need is your custard and everything else you can get readily available. So I'm going to add a little more of my whipped cream. Now, if your whipped cream is already like sweet, then make sure that you vary your sugar content, that, like the amount of sugar that we used for our custard, because you don't want your dessert to be very sweet. Uh, with my whipped cream, it's unsweetened. And if you think your sugar is less, then you could always add more. Okay, you'll see that the mixture will be very fluffy and the color would also change. It'll become more pale. You think I'm going to add a little more. That's it. And I think that would be enough. So I've added around like a cup, you can say, of whipped cream. I'm 
Okay, and after this, you can see how your mixture turns out. Okay, after this step, I'm going to add my fruits. So I have some fruits here. Uh, you could add more, you could add less, anything. Then you'd add your jellies. Now with the jellies, what I normally do is because if my jelly, if you think your jelly will not harden up enough, then try using a little faluda, like when you're mixing your jelly when it's like on the stove, and then place it in whatever uh, plate or whatever thing that you're using to set your jelly in, and then you can cut in like diamonds. This is how my jellies have become, but that's okay as long as you get the pieces in your mouth. And because of the heat so I'm gonna add in both my jellies you could add more or less now this step if like for example you're making this like in the afternoon and your guests are coming in at night or you want to have this at night I suggest you mix in your jellies in the end like right before serving because a lot of the color you'll see will uh, dissolve into your custard which you do not want you want the color to remain in the jelly itself so our mixture is done you could add more jelly you could add more fruit whatever you prefer and I'm just gonna put them in my serving dishes now what you could do is also like place a few jellies at the bottom and I'm sure that will look really good Make sure you put in your fruits, your jellies, and everything. Don't leave out the important things. And keep your things clean. So make sure after serving them, you need to clean whatever that you're serving in. Here. And that's cleaned. So that's one. And the other one, I'm just going to place a few jellies at the bottom just to show you how it looks. Okay, so I put my jelly. I'm going to put my cream. Or your filling, whatever you call it. This dessert tastes really good, like especially if it's chilled enough. So make sure you chill it. Okay, and so I've served it out already. And I've done two different things. So you could do the same for that as well. I have a little whipped cream in my piping bag. And all I'm going to do is like pipe out a design or anything. Okay, so that's my piping done. You could add a little piece of your jelly, or if you have cherries, you could add that as well, anything that you want. Now, if your jelly is set, this would look really good because I mean, you'd have like diamond shaped jellies on top of your. Okay, and if you have a few cut cherries or anything, if you have green cherries, you could place those. So my dessert is ready and you can serve it after it's chilled enough. Thank you for watching IBN TV. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show and we'll try this dessert. It's very simple as you also and it doesn't take any time. So keep watching IBN TV and dessert delights. Thank you.
نتبختر بيوم الحشر عندنا الضمانة بين الخلايق نفتخر علي لوانا عالمعبر اول من يمر والكل ورانا والجنة صارت تبتش Oh, <laughs>